This should work. <laughs> and it does. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Let's keep on going. Howdy folks, my name's Saoirse, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. So while I was sitting here staring at this broken slot machine at the Vicky and Vance Casino in Prem, my conscience got to nagging at me about the whole situation going on in Good Springs with the Powder Gangers. And since the Powder Gangers suck, and I like Good Springs, I figured it would be time to go back and handle that little problem before things got any worse. So we're going to start today by heading back to Good Springs and sorting out the problem with Ringo and the Powder Gangers, and from there we'll uh, move on. We're going to go ahead and stand up. And I realized that uh, during the entire last episode that I was uh, wearing the wrong outfit for this uh, particular trek. So uh, let me get out here into the street. I'm going to change my outfit into a better piece of armor. Let's see. Load armor. We'll do the armored Vault 13 jumpsuit because, as I said in the last episode, I love Fallout 1. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Head on back to Good Springs. We'll take care of that little problem, and then we'll come on back and see if we can sort out the issue going on here in the uh, in the hotel. So, y'all sit tight. Give me just a few minutes, and I'll be with you in just a few. All right. So here we are at the Good Springs Cemetery. We're gonna go from here back down into town, talk to Trudy at the uh, saloon, and see if we can solve this little problem of theirs. So welcome back to New Vegas. I wasn't sure exactly what to do with this episode, but uh, we'll just keep plugging away with the story and see what uh, what kind of trouble we can get up to here in the Mojave Wasteland. Come on over here, and inside we go. Where is she at? Guess she must be inside. What time is it? It's 1.30 in the morning, so 1.40 in the morning. I guess she must be in bed, so um, I guess while we wait, let's go, uh, let's go take a look at the schoolhouse over here and see what Sunny Smiles was talking about when she said to stay away. There's Victor right over there. Trying to stay out of his way. You don't need to deal with him at all. So here is the schoolhouse. I didn't like going to school when I actually had to go. I can't imagine wanting to go when you ain't got to. All right, let's take a look in here and see what we're looking at. And this is, this is. Bang. There's another one. Two more. This. This. Missed again. Come on. Bang. Ow. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what's over here. Let's go tickety tickety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so there's one left. It's gotta be the N. The N's gotta be the one that's correct. Is that uh, doesn't have INGs. Not correct. Nope. Where's my so I can Ubris doesn't refill my tries. They died, that's good. Keep on ticky 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 in here. Where are we at? Oh, wait, wait, I saw it. Oh, I never was good at this. Give me just a few minutes. Let me break into this terminal and we'll move on. <coughs> well, never mind. I screwed it all up. Hmm. I can't pick the safe. Do I have a magazine I can use that with? I think I do. No, I have today's physician. Hmm. Well, so much for that. 
Well, that was a waste of my damn time. I guess we just have to wait. Now it's daytime. Now let's go handle the uh, powder ganger problem. Uh, don't laugh. <laughs> Never was very good at the whole hacking bit. Tales of Chivalry. A poppy pin. My damn gun away. Random big one in the middle of the road. Don't mind him. Easy Pete's turned into a tumbleweed. Oh no! Sonny's not here yet. Trudy's not here yet either. Where are they? Wait another couple hours, I guess. Oop, let's try that again. Do, 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 do. It's 11 o'clock. There she is. Hello, Trudy. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I heard about your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Never mind. I want to talk to him about something else. All right. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Yeah, yeah. Powder Gangers suck. Who cares? Let me go handle your problem for you, lady. Run right over here to the gas station at the top of the hill. And let's chat with Ringo. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. caravan. You know I still don't know how to play caravan. I've never wanted to learn. You know about Joe Cobb? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Uh, what are you going to do about the powder gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Well, why didn't you say so? Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around and see what happens. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. You put your damn gun away. Point the thing at me. Boxing Times magazine... What else is in here that I can steal? What's in the sack? Take the snacks and the water. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. <laughs> Take a look at my stats real quick. Need to have me a bite to eat. So, yum yum purified water and yum yum fancy lad snack cakes. Nothing like eating Twinkies in the middle of uh, the Mojave to feel a little bit better. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Hi, Sunny. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I'm going to help Ringo to take on the Powder Gangers, and I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Just like that? Just like that. 
I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. I'll go uh, I'll have a chat. So let me make sure that I'm wearing something that makes me uh, a little bit better at this whole talking bit. Do I have any magazines for that? This position is mad. Tales of Chivalry. No, nope, that's mad. Two. Melee, rather. Doctor's mad. Boxing Times is unarmed. Oh, I gotta go see if I can find some more magazines. Braxo. No. No, 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 no. I know there's one floating around somewhere for the whole chatting business. What's in here? Sarsaparilla. In the safe. Oh, okay, over here. What's in the safe? I'm just having a look. Not very easy. Sales. Ah, yeah, Salesman Weekly. That's the one. Yoink. Yoink. Come over here. Have a look at my speech is 10. Harder, so we do meeting people. Speech is 10. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Yes, ma'am. You can help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this Let's take a peek at a magazine, degree. and off you go. Well, everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Be careful. Now I gotta go talk to that weasel chet. See if I can convince him to let me have some stuff. Do 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 over here. I'm gonna stand in front of him real quick and read this magazine. You looking to buy some supplies? I need supplies to fight the powder yeah, gangers. Just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Uh, one short. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. This again? Hmm. Like I said, I'm against taking on the powder gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. Right. Ugh, fucking shit. Kiss every part of my ass, you weasel. Anything I can use? Anything else I can... Probably not. Oh well. Well, I can't talk to Easy Pete. I don't have the explosion, uh, explosives. So let's go back and talk to Ringo and let's just get this over with. All right, Ringo. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. No, oh, let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Hi, Sonny. They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there soon. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Off we go. I'll just use my thumper. See if I can do this without getting anybody killed. There have been many instances where I've done this and everybody dies. Hi y'all, excuse me. Howdy. Excuse me y'all, hi y'all, excuse me y'all, hi y'all. Oh, 
cool. Thanks for the whole reputation bit, I know. I need to be wearing the right outfit for this, I just realized. Do 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 do. Yeah, vilified, yeah. And it's over. <laughs> just like that, two shots. This away. All right, let's see. Let's get guns up. Let's get repair and science up and sneak up. Let's also do lock pick up. I owe you a huge favor for this. I just really, I didn't talk to Doc Mitchell. These are technically crimson Oops. caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Uh, you're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. You got it, Ringo. Take a look at my... my health like? Ooh. Ouch. Ah. Much better. Hi, Trudy. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Be careful out there. Well, you're welcome. All right. Well, that's over and done with. Reputation's increased. Got ourselves a new level to boot, so I figure with that out of the way, we can go ahead and head on over to Prim and sort that whole problem out. Let's see. I'll take that ammo there. Take the case as well. I guess I'll just take everything. I'll sell it later. Uh, Ganger. Let me take that round there. Take the hull. What about you? Nope. Okay. What we want to hear? Here's Joe. Hi, Joe. Oh, I'll take that magnum. I'll take the ammo for it. And the bottle caps. And the stealth boy. Take that too. Alright, let me take a look at what's got on me. Still good for the weight. HP's down to shape, not bad. Damage is there. Alright. Cool, we're all set. Let's head back to Prim and sort out the problem with Deputy Beagle. All right, welcome back to Prim. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, oh, wait a minute, I think I need to, yeah, nope, that's, lobby. oh, oh, for some reason it didn't save when I talked to, uh, talked to this guy in here. Let me, uh, let me sort that out one second. Don't go. Okay, so we finally got that sorted out. Um, I talked to him in the last episode, but for some reason it didn't, it didn't take with this one. So we're going to go ahead and head across the street to Bison Steve. See if we can rescue Deputy Beagle. And start setting down that whole path. So let's head on over here and see what we can do. Let's see here. Uh oh ow, 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 ow. Sometimes these problems solve themselves. So much for that. I don't want to dick around with that too much. Just not good at it. What do you got? That's a very familiar outfit. I'm going to take that. Take this too. That too. Take the money. Oof, well that sucked really bad. Alright, I should not have done that. It's okay. We can we can fix it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Nothing in here that I can use. Uh safe, which I can take care of a little later when I have better um Skills for it. What do you got? Bobby pin, ammo, a bottle cap, which I'll take. Money. Okay. What's in here? Nothing. Do 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 do. Where are we at? 
If I'm be close range, I should probably use something a little bit more useful for it. Get a better lockpick skill. Don't move upstairs just a minute. I think they deputy beagles over here someplace. Come on. What's up, dude? Backing up. Ow. What's that problem now? Step in here real quick. Take care of that problem. What weapons do I have that I can actually use? Damage is 18. This is 37 though for DPS. You better get back here. God, I feel so good. Hmm. The problem sorted itself out. Take that money and the ammo because I've earned it. And that'll be it. Hi, Deputy Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Uh, how'd you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder ganger stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. I didn't cut you loose so you could run away. Stick with me. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I'd only slow you down. See you outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, you freaking weirdo. Ooh. Yummy, yummy. You go handle your business, Deputy Beagle. Oh, hi. Wow. Come on. Get back here. This is hopeless. Oh, you say so. What do you got on you? More, 5.56, more money. Take the case too. All right, let's go ahead and clear out the rest of this place. Money, more ammo, more bottle caps, fixer. I'll take that. And a stim pack, too. Okay. He lets the rest of this while my uh, thing still works. Stealth boy. 
He said he'll be dipping out here pretty soon. And then there. It's down here. Evening. Hmm. He's right on top of him. This should work. <laughs> and it does. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Let's keep on going. Come to. Nope. Let's see if I can pick this lock. Yeah, yeah, I know. Got it. What's in here? It's a suitcase. Ooh, more pre war money. I'll take that. Somebody died while having themselves a bath. <laughs> got him. He got on you. More money, more ammo. Rebound. Take that. Okay. Keep on going. Try to get as much XP as I can in this place. Oh, it finally wore off. Darn. Darn it, darn it, darn it. No biggie. Just gotta be careful, so. I can get this door open. Nope. Got it. Ooh, yeah, doctor's bag. I'll take that. Nothing in the first aid box, okay? What about that one? Heck yeah. What's in there? Nothing. Junk. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Delicious. All right, let's do one quick, uh, one more quick sweep of this place, and then we'll uh, go have ourselves a chat with Deputy Beagle. Ow! 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 Maybe you are. Let's go ahead and handle myself again. What do you got? Money, ammo, a key. Let's take that. Okay, what about you? Take the pistol. I don't know if I need it, but I'll take it. More money. I'm just jumpy. That guy's upstairs. Gotta find the staircase. All right. Well, we uh, we did it, everybody. <laughs> we we sorted out the merc problem, sort of. Hey, dude. I don't want to use the grenade rifle while I'm in here, so let's. I can sell those. Use the shotgun. What's up, dude? You got money, ammo. All right. Oh, well, I think we're uh, I think we're done here. Let's head on back outside and have ourselves a chat with the uh, the old deputy. See you guys in a few minutes. All right. So that problem's been handled. The hotel is safe once again. Let's go have a chat with the old deputy. Howdy. Where are you at, dude? Oh, hey. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those comics we? a thing or two, didn't we? You got we? a mouse in your pocket? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? You're the sheriff now. Oh no, 
I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who will settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. I'm not sure why they haven't helped out already. I'll help bring Lawnmower back to Prim. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be Well, since so I don't want to deal with the NCR, the I think I'm going to go to the prison and see if I can take care of that with Myers. Under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Yeah, I bet it doesn't, weirdo. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, jackass. Yeah, probably should get some sleep. Let's see if I can find a a room or a bed at the hotel. All right, rested and refreshed. It did. The hydration levels increase. I gotta have breakfast. A couple of waters. And my going on a stick. Mmm, delicious. All right. Let's take a look at our map real quick. All right. We're going to head on over to the NCRCF. See if we can uh, handle it with the... Uh, get that sheriff out of there. Give Prim a little bit of help. Because I just, I don't want to... I don't want to get the NCR involved, if I'm honest. I don't like the NCR. And I think that's definitely not a good, not a good thing for the town. So we'll go see if we can find this fellow Myers at the uh, facility. Go from there. Oh, switch over to my uh, got him. What you got on you, my dear friends? Well, well, well. Damn, thought that would work. I can't hit him from here. I'll try though. Darn. One more. Got him. <laughs> One more time. Let's see. Do I have anything I can actually use on him? Darn. Come on, let's take a look, my friend. Well, the sounds where I need a scope. I'm gonna cheese the game, don't mind me. A little bit closer. Ow. 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 business.
Load, 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 hurry. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take this too. I'll take the hull too so I can use it later. Ah, thank you. Okay. Gun skills, lockpick skills, medicine. Alright. Uh, I'll take educated because it's good. Hello, Mr. Myers. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? I was a sheriff, believe it or not. For a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. How'd you feel about becoming Prim's new sheriff? Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. You have a deal. All right, then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. All right, so that problem's been handled. Welcome back. You don't look like me. I think we'll go ahead and leave this episode here. I came up back to Good Springs to talk to Doc Mitchell to get fixed up after I got beat to hell at the prison. Our next step is we gotta go to the Mojave Outpost and talk to the NCR about giving Myers a pardon so he can be Prim Sheriff. And then from there, we'll uh, keep trucking on to Vegas. So thank you for stopping by today for this second episode of Fallout New Vegas. It feels good going back through this game after so long. I don't remember the last time I actually played this thing. It's been a while. I'm having a good time with it. I hope that you guys are too. Uh, we will pick this up in the next episode. I'm not too sure when that will be, but hopefully soon. So that will do it for Fallout New Vegas today. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Sirius the Vixen. Make sure that you keep the rubber side down.